Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Akiba's Trip Undead and Undressed Episode 2. Now, you may be wondering, wait, Episode 1 came out yesterday, why'd you re-upload it? It's because I got copyright, you know, a notice because of the opening. So, I had to remove that, so that's what I did. And it'll, it sh it'll be back up by now, should have gone up a few hours before this one. But uh, yeah, Episode 1 is back. And anyway, I should probably say what we're doing in this episode, we're going to go to the battle arena. Because we need to get stronger to defeat the Synthesters. Because we are a vampire. Kind of. Uh, I'm kind of remembering where I've got to go. I'm kind of remembering the layout of the uh, the map. Uh, give me a... Give me a th actually, I don't even want a stupid flyer. I've got that achievement already. I've got all the achievements. Oh, trophies. Trophies. God, stop saying achievement. But in years of playing Xbox, probably, it wasn't even that long, it was like two, three years, four years to tops. Look at this battle arena. Just what every t town has. Well now, it's rare to get customers at this hour. Hmm? Oh, you must be the boy Pops was telling me about. You look rather ordinary to me. But perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the manager of this establishment. You may call me Antoinette. While I don't own the arena, the one who does is presently on a journey. So I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? This facility exists to help one achieve his or her full potential. It is a place where rivals cultivate each other's growth. Those who win do receive reward money, but the true reward is the experience itself. However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must first prove yourself worthy. I will now test that worth, if I may. Are you ready? I will be assisting him. As you wish. Please, step into the ring. Good luck. I'll follow your lead. Alright, ready? Let's fight. Perfect chance for- is this the- Chain strip, yeah. Chain strip is what makes the game a lot bit better because you can like do do sweet combos. So you do that, and then you can go straight into the uh, the trousers and the shirt, and then someone else's hat, someone else's trousers, someone else's shirt. You just you can keep this as long. I mean, it does get difficult. You like you have to be really quick. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. You have to be really quick. Ah, on the uh, later things. Okay, I, I messed that up a lot, actually. Although I didn't, because I got them all, but I feel like I messed it up. Even in reality, I didn't. And doing that, they go completely naked and they have the white bars covering them. Just like, you know, a bad, bad fan service anime. Or a good fan service anime. Could be either, really. Well done. Though considering who sent you here, I shouldn't be surprised. And you. You were simply amazing. So much so that I'm tempted to scout you. Much obliged. Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena anytime you wish. Please make this Coliseum roar with the flames of your passion. This seems like a good place to train. I'm sure we'll be back. But for now, let's return to Mogra. So the arena, really what the arena is for, as I pick up all the underpants and everything, is you get money. That's its main purpose. What? Why would it? I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. But I could check my equipment. Did I get anything better than a 5? I got a fan. I don't want the fan though. Because it's not very good, essentially. Because it was, uh... 
there's different move sets. You got like your bladed weapons. I can fast travel actually. You got like your blade, not bladed weapons, like your your bats, your bats and that. You can use them. They've got one move set, and there's like two-handed like boards or keyboards. It's a bunch of different types of weapons, and I'd say that like the one I've got is the best. Hey, welcome back. So how'd it go? That Antoinette's a bit of an odd one, ain't she? Not a bad person to know, though. Next time you see her, give her my regards. Anyway, I got a question for you. When you were walking down Junk Street, you saw some suspicious people milling about, right? If you got some energy to spare, I'd like you and Shizuku to head back there and scope the place out. Man, you that hungry? Toko out chopping, er, shopping, not some few minutes ago. Is there any food you want to add to the list? Get it, got it, good. I'll call her and let her know. Okay, we're off to patrol Junk Street. We'll be back soon. Okie dokie. Go get them, but be careful. One thing I will say about this game, what, what trailer are they playing? I want to see. 25th anniversary or something. Uh, it's a CD, I think. Like you could stay and watch the TVs with like the actual ads on 1987. Anyway, I should I should I should actually uh. You know, do what I was doing. It does turn into a lot of okay, fast travel here, not fast travel here, kill a few guys, fast travel all around. Are those the suspicious people Pop spoke of? The hell's your problem? What do you think you're looking at? You here to start something? I'll make mince meat out of your bowl! They're synthesters. I can sense it. I'm afraid we have no choice but to defeat them. But yeah, that's uh, all there really is to this to this game. Really, it's just ow. Okay, Jesus Christ, I'm a uh... ow. Will you piss off. Wait, can I just can I? Hang on, if I'm remembering right, there's a special move I can do. I just gotta remember how to do it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Whoops, don't punch me dude. I just want to take off your clothes. Is that so much to ask? What's that bar in the top? Here's the thing, I've forgotten a bunch. When you get a higher combo you get like bonuses to your damage. Which is a good... Hmm. I feel like that should have uh, an end to a combo. Do you get like more... Combo points I guess? Wait, is there, do you get longer things to your combo as you, like, not level up, there is no level Is there a lock-on button? That's not what I wanted to do. That's why this one sucks. Oh, it's not this weapon, is it? Aha, I figured it's the bat I like, the baseball bat, so I will be getting rid of this as soon as I unlock the ability to upgrade my weapons. Is my controller breaking? Because that's what it feels like. That would be That would suck if my controller broke in the middle of this video. There don't seem to be any more of them. Which, but I believe that that is right now. That you get the, uh, ability to upgrade your shit, essentially. Although I could be wrong. Welcome back! Oh hey, got your order right here. A whole family of beef bowls. One, two, and three. I made sure to order extra onions though, because somebody's gotta watch out for your health. So, uh, guys, you know we serve food here too, right? Might be nice if you order from us every now and again, or at all. But Pops, the 
this far? Well, the coffee is delicious, but the food items are not so delicious. Ooh, that stings me right in the old ticker. You're an employee here, you know? Don't it bother you to tell me our food sucks? I have to say, though, your food order is quite a bit bigger than usual. And that might just be the understatement of the century. Your food order is monstrous, man. Like eating contest world championship monstrous. All you've done is eat lately. Could this be a side effect of his transformation into a synthester? Most likely. Those who are transformed typically attack humans and feed on their vitality. But that's not the case here. It seems he can still sate his hunger with food as long as he eats enough of it. Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. Hurt by sunlight and always hungry? That sounds very rough. Doesn't it seem kind of weird, though? I mean, if every other Synthester attacks people, why doesn't he? What makes him different? Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Since you're gonna be fighting monsters from here on out, I came up with a few support plans for you, so to speak. You too, if you would. Right. Can I see your phone for a bit? Now, where was that again? Oh, here we go. Set the login info and done. All right, so what I've done is I've installed an app on your phone that lets us freedom fighters read and accept requests for help gathered from locals. The icon that launches it is on your home screen under the name Side Missions, so feel free to try it out at your convenience. Basically, the idea is... I'll take it from here. The idea is, you got a lot riding on this whole fight with the Synthesters. And, well, you kinda suck at sports. You've barely ever fought a real battle, and you got nothing under your belt but some Colosseum fighting. My point is, you wanna have an advantage against the Synthesters? You gotta network. You gotta reach out and touch people in the niceties getting to know what makes them tick and why it's worth saving them from these monsters. So I'm gonna gather up requests and send them over through that app and leave the rest in your hands. Up to you which ones you want to tackle. It's all in Akiba either way, so you should be able to knock out most of them during your patrols. And speaking of patrols, we're going to head out on ours. We'll take the area around the station. You'll take the side streets. Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Anyway, if you find anything, be sure to report back on it pronto. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. We wouldn't have it any other way. Akiba belongs to the people, you know? Whatever we can protect, we will. That's what being a freedom fighter is all about. Yeah, right on, Pops! Way to man up! I am neither impressed nor inspired. We meet again, person accompanying Brotaku. <laughs> Enter the sister. So, like we were saying before, there's one more person in our group who's kind of a secret character. She also found herself living in the shop, though in her case, it's cause she's kind of a hermit. Her room's the one back behind the bar. Um, my name is Shizuku Tokikaze. The Freedom Fighters have been a great help to me. It's nice to meet you. I know who you are. I was eavesdropping from behind the bar counter. And it's nice-ish to meet you, too. I don't recall asking for a lecture, Professor. Dealing with you 3D PD people drains my energy, so I'm going to go now. But there's something I want to discuss with you, Broccoli. So come to my room later. Like brother, like sister, huh? Yeah, but at least there was a time when she had everything together. Not so much for her brother. The little sister is very good with her hands, you know. She can make all kinds of clothing. All of the protective gear used by the Freedom Fighters is a product of her demon art. If you have problems with your outfit, all you have to do is speak with the little sister, and they will be solved like magic. Uh, so, hey, not to interrupt, but... Patrols? Anyone? We'll be out around the station. See ya. You should go speak with your little sister. 
Don't worry. I'll wait here for you until you're done. So yeah, regarding side quests, I'm probably not going to do them. Uh, but only because then I'll, oh, what, what game is that? I want to know what, what, the, what, what game is that? Is like the Conception game? I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to her in a minute, I'm watching the trailer, Conception 2, okay. I think my friends played that. He said it was alright. So, who am I to disagree with him? What I wanted to talk to you about is as follows. Mission, save your little sister. Your little sister is in trouble, and it's Protector's sacred duty to help ease her worries. I've registered the exact details of what I'd like you to do in the submission app on your smartphone. And so, I leave the rest in your capable hands. Okay, other than this side mission. I'm not going to do many of them, because this one you have to do. You have to go get her a, a book, basically. Uh, which way do I go? Map. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, the little sister. Can I just say, I really like her bro puns. I mean, they're bad, but they're pretty funny. At the same time. Which is cool. So, it's you, right? Hey. Hey. It's like the, oh no, your hand just went through me. Cosplay song recommendations. So I believe that do it, doing this quest, your sister will upgrade your stuff for you. So your weapon should increase the strength of your weapons and the defense of your clothes. Which reminds me, I should probably get something, something to wear on my head. My uh, chair is squeaking. Unless I pick something up. Did I pick something up? I may have already picked something up. No, I didn't. Did I pick up a shirt? Yeah, that looks not good. That's that looks even worse. Did I, did it give me boobs? It it did. Whoa, let's yeah. There we go. That's that's better. It's pretty funny, but at the same time, like no. Oh man, I look bad. But it's it's fine. What about shoes? Shoes don't do nothing. Look at me, I'm so cool looking. Sis, no, I want to talk to you. There we go. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Really? Thank you. Let's say, here's a rule. What are you giving me? Just some money, I'm pretty sure. The trousers look way too big. You gave me a t shirt. Thank you, I guess. Upgrade my stuff, please. I've confirmed that the quest I sent you on has been successfully completed. Nicely done, program. As a reward of sorts, I will now allow you to make use of my talents to enhance your protective gear. By which I mean your clothes and makeshift weapons. Though I will ask for some small monetary compensation. Of course. Give me money. So... I'm probably not going to upgrade clothes a lot because I just I'd rather do weapons. Okay, so it's plastic. Do I have a stronger plastic bat? Choose your upgrade material. So I should be able to. How much money have I got? Fifteen ten. So if I do this, just for now, yeah. So that will raise the strength of my plastic bat up to 10. So I can... Okay, so that I can uh, change my equipment. So I'll have the umbrella, it's fine, I'll do it next time. Now I got the bat, because I think the bat is the best weapon. So that, uh, you can get every weapon to max, like max stat, like 999 quite easily, but I like the bats like move set the best. Have you finished talking with your sister? We should go then. We mustn't allow the synthesters to claim any more victims than they already have. So 
So yeah, a lot of the game is go to this area and fight some synthesters and then occasionally meet another person. Oh, it's Disgaea! I believe. Never played it. That's uh, not true, actually. Oh. Can you feel it too? Someone is shadowing us. Synthesters? Or perhaps... <gasps> We're surrounded. Well, they're not friendly. I don't know who we're dealing with, but I believe they must have some connection to the organization. If we strip their clothes, we'll know for sure. Let's go. It's the government. I can't. I can't fight the government. I'm a man on man on the edge. No, no friends. The government has betrayed. Why am I not? Why is your clothes not breaking? Is it because you're the government? Does, does, does being in the government make you strong, immune to having your clothes broken? I wouldn't know. I've never been in the government. I've never been. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get in there. Okay, that's one down. But it's fine because I have the bat, the bat of destiny. I miss my strong bat from my, uh, like my casual. Oh, come on. So here's how the counter. I guess I could show it off. Do that. That's that's the counter. On hard mode, you're gonna need to use the counter. This is not hard mode. So I'll I'll probably bust it out every so often, but not too much. Ow. Come on. Hit me. As I put it down. Brilliant. It's like he knew. Also, when you like near an exit point, the camera goes all funny. So this is the one problem, I will say, with this game, is some levels take ridiculously long. Or well, not levels, but some fights take a really long time for no real reason. Oh shit, I pressed one button. Right, we'll just pick up everything and then we'll, uh, where's the last one at? It's Shizuku fighting it. I say it, it's a person. Him. You. Oh my god, well, look at that special moves. There we go. I got him, I got him. Stop, let me grab him. There we go. So yeah, this game, I feel like it's weird because it kind of plays it kind of straight, the stripping. Like, it's not really played for a joke. Also, you can see my health at the bottom is slightly higher because I have better clothes on. We won. Somehow. But I don't understand. Our attackers didn't seem to be synthesters at all. <laughs> Who's there? Bravo! Absolutely marvelous! Why, your physical prowess is simply staggering! One of the organization's executives, I fear. Who are you? Before I answer that, please accept my apologies. The men you stripped just now are my subordinates. I'm very sorry if they took you by surprise. <sighs> My name is Shion Kasugai. I'm the CEO, the president, of Daishihan Pharmaceuticals. The president of a drug conglomerate? What could you possibly want with us? This town, Akiba, has hosted many strange happenings of late. Wouldn't you agree? So many reports of random attacks, their victims left in inexplicable lethargy. But who are these attackers? Is there a roving gang of degenerates on the loose? Or is there something more to this? I simply must know. So you're investigating the synthesters? Oh, synthesters, you say? Is that what the perpetrators are calling themselves? Damn. If you know the proper term for them, well, how to put this delicately, you're clearly involved. Really? 
Really now, you took to that scuffle rather well for a pair of oblivious children, and your moves, mm, I've never seen anything like them, never once. What is it you want? I've been looking into these incidents privately for some time, but I've always come back empty-handed until just recently. You see, by pure chance, I happened to catch wind of some local gossip. Would you believe a strange boy-girl duo has been running around Akiba, tearing people's clothes off in broad daylight? Such perversion. We're not perverts, and we're not doing this for our own amusement either. Oh, please don't misunderstand. It's not what you do that intrigues me. It's the results. You see, when these two people expose their victim's flesh, witnesses claim that flesh suffers some kind of massive sunburn all at once. Strange, isn't it? Now, of course, one might lay the blame on global warming or some such, but how could the same sunlight we're standing in now burn a man so quickly? And that, in turn, leads me to ask, what reason might you have for fighting these so-called synthisters in the first place? First things first, of course, I had to confirm your involvement, hence my little test, uncouth as it was. And now I've seen your strength, your speed, your endurance. Simply put, you can't possibly be human. <sighs> Your panic is adorable, but entirely unnecessary. I'm not here to stand against you, but rather to offer my help. In short, I want a sample, a specimen of these synthesters. If I can get my hands on one, I can analyze its composition and learn what makes it tick. And who knows? That sort of information could be of use to you as well. Here's my card. If there's anything you'd like to discuss, please don't hesitate to contact me. I do look forward to meeting you both again. Particularly you, little boy. You're quite the handsome little devil. <laughs> So we're under surveillance, then. What's your impression of that woman? I agree. At any rate, we should return to Mogra and discuss this with the others. Oh, the mystery deepens. Well, I have been the Sandy Man, and this has been a Let's Play Akiba's Trip, or Akiba Strip, whichever way you say it. I'm not getting into that argument. Undead and Undressed, Episode 2. In the next episode, we're going to go back to Mogra, and then some more stuff's going to happen. I don't actually remember what happens next. I don't remember the overall way it goes. So we'll find out together, and uh, I'll see you then.